Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Little hut I set yesterday. I added this one in here. I found it on the new route in. Instead of just taking the same old route every time. <clears throat> Our rats have been slow the last couple days because it was been so warm. It's not a it's cold today calling for rain and snow the next couple days so it ought to get them moving again they go into winter mode and start building their huts but then it got nice out need a little bit of a freeze get them moving around preparing for winter Good rat. Try to get some more here, hopefully. Didn't do very well yesterday. A lot of snap traps, but that's all part of it. Let's see here. All right, I'll go on to the next one. Actually, there it is right there. You'll see how much fun some of this stuff is to go navigate through. I'm not sure about this hut. I don't really like it. It's hard to get to. Hopefully it pays off. I, put one, I think I put one set in here. I don't see my trap, so I must got something must have bumped it. They're building. The top of that was flat yesterday. And I should have got video of it. Something had been sleeping on top of this hut. And it's all flat. So I don't know if beaver are using it for a place to rest or what. See how tough this stuff is to get around in? Now I'm gonna get caught on everything on my way back out of here. one there cool made it worth coming over here then new hut new fur but they're climbing up on there and they're building this that was completely flat like something been laying up there so i'll just put it back over there climbing up if i can get it over there using Duke one and a halfs you can get them a really good deal they're very good good price I think I get them for like $50 a dozen and you can catch a lot of stuff with them saw me go overboard they're climbing up right there this stuff's yet to be abandoned about to maneuver through now I gotta get out of here 
All right, stay tuned. On to the next one. Okay, here's that one in episode eight that they kept, actually seven and eight, they, they kept covering it up. So far I can't see it, but the pan was messed up. Let's see if I got him today. I got him today. Redemption. And that steak should not have come out of there that easy. Yeah, my pan was, my dog was off a little bit, made it so the pan wouldn't go all the way down. We got him today though. I'm just, that's, just on the outside that ain't going inside their hut their huts their holes in the middle so that's not interfering with anything there's no trees here to so i just to wire off to so i just use the stake put it right back where i had it Not doing too bad on rats today. There's sometimes a, a one rat day is a good day. Let's see. Pulled my trap out of that hut. I gotta go across there to the next one. Some of these ain't connected on anything, so I just moving them around now. Seems to be working. Gonna have to get me some more one and a half. Awesome. 
Man, on this hut I got a 110 on this little run I found here. Nothing there. I got one here though. This hut, obviously, these muskrats don't all live in the, everyone I've caught does not live in this hut. They swim from hut to hut, eating. So I'm not gonna out, I'm not gonna trap them all out of this hut because they're not all living here. Shovel with me today, help me make my beaver sets. <coughs> I got some uh, raccoon sets up around the corner here, some musket sets, and I got a beaver set. I put in yesterday. Let's see what we get. I'll see you there. Pockets up there, but I didn't get anything in it. Got a muskrat coming up here. I'm gonna clear that off and see if there's any new droppings there. I'm just gonna set a trap right on the dropping. And it's a borcoon hiding over here. What's up, buddy? Little fella. I got one more trap across here. Nothing in it. And we'll go see if the beaver trap's here. There's a high water hut. And it looks like my trap is still here. Nothing here. So, I know they're using it. You can see their feed bed out there. Maybe they didn't cruise around last night. All right. I'll cruise along. Trying to find some place to put these drowners. So stay tuned, I'll get this guy taken care of. Got a raccoon here today. He got himself uh, wedged in here. That's pretty crazy. I haven't seen that before. I'll get him dispatched and get him out of here. Stay tuned. Pocket set got a little, little muskrat. They're pretty uh, aggressive. Well, let's see if I can get up in there and get him out. Uh, I was on a pocket set with no bait or lure. And a lot of times you don't need anything. He's attacking my boat. I gotta get turned around here. They're pretty aggressive little fellas. You wouldn't think they would be, but they are. There's no, no fear of me right now. No fear at all. I mean, 
but I'd rather him come out here a little bit farther and drown, but he didn't make it. I'll get him taken care of. And see, a lot of people worry they they need bait and stuff, but look at that eye appeal right here. There's a lot of eye appeal for a muskrat. So, don't always need bait. Just make it look good. And they got a place to hide there, everything now. I'll reset that trap and try to get another one. So stay tuned, I'll get him in here. Put this 110 here a few days ago. Hadn't connected on anything. There's a little crossover that goes here. I got a small trap on the other side too. I only got one today. Been a, one of them ones where I'm like, I need to just pull that thing because it ain't producing no fur. And just like that, when I needed it, it produced. So I'll get her back in there. Down on the bottom. Then I take all this stuff. One tins are more they work a little better. You got ice where they're all they're not swimming on top of the water. Like they could swim up over that, so more than likely a lot of them will go over that. They'll just pull themselves over. But that one obviously went underneath. I'm gonna set this up over here real quick. Stay tuned. I've seen a muskrat over here that looked like a freaking beaver. He was a stuff. He's a big sucker. I couldn't get on the I got him on camera. He sat there for a minute on this log. And he went that way. That's crazy. I thought it was a beaver swimming in. You can see right here. I'm gonna put it right where he was just at because I saw where he stopped right on that crossing right there right in that little hole he was just sitting there i don't know if the trap's if it's big enough for a trap or not i saw him climbing right there look like Another log set over that way. I just put in. How deep is it here? Oh, it's deep. Right, stay tuned, I'll show you the yeah, finished product. I don't really care for it, but I'll give it one more, one night and see what happens. All right, it's up there. All right, we'll move on. And I found a spot for another drowner. There's some fresh tracks coming up right here. They're coming up and cutting down these trees. I'm not gonna do a caster, I'm just gonna do a blind set right there. And then right over there, I'm gonna do a caster, a great big one. And those look like fresh tracks, so I don't think it's been made by, because I'm not very far from here, I caught two beaver. So I'm guessing they're still coming through here. Last night, looks like. And coon. Definitely coon everywhere. But the crazy thing right now, and I've showed you guys a bunch of times, is all the food. Look at this frog, he's just sitting here freezing. And he's just easy, he's an easy meal for, for whatever comes through here. There's one right here too. There's just food everywhere for the 
for the rat can, so a little harder to catch them. I don't know, it's just crazy. I've never experienced it before. But the flood brought a lot more, a lot more frogs because of the flood, so. Pretty much, they already show me where they go up, right there. I need to put my trap right here, because they go that way and that way. I'm just gonna flatten me down a small bed, not very deep. <laughs> and hopefully I got enough battery to do all the rest of my line. I'm getting low already. I've already used two batteries. It's deep out there. And these are 10 foot rods. I just made them last night. I'm just gonna send them straight down into the depth. Right there. Usually I make eight footers, but it's been a lot more deeper water here than I'm used to. Make sure I'm moving all the way. This is a bridger number five, and they will bite. If I can get up here and set it. I should have probably said it before I put it down in here. They will they will get you. That's for sure. But it's a heck of a trap. Should not need much fencing. I'll stick this guy right here. I need to cover up my staking system. Get this guy down here to lose. There we go. And here's a spot they're going that way too, though it looks like. Hopefully they'll just go right here. And they won't go see anything interesting to go that way. Put a couple sticks across there. Fence set up. Keep them from going that way. All right, there's that. Should work pretty good, I think. They're already coming here. As long as the coon don't get in it first, but I'll take a raccoon. All right, and I'm gonna put a caster mound over here. Right here, there's been a lot of activity going in and out. So, somewhere right here, probably use this as a guide. You can see there's some stuff to stop them from going up both ways. <clears throat> right here, let's put it right there. That'll keep them from stepping there. Brought some tools instead of doing it the hard way so much. There we go. 
I gotta be careful not to poke the waders here. Oh, look at the ease of that. That stuff stinks. There we go. Quick way to do it, throwing mud all over my face. Well, I guess I'll run it this way. There we go. <coughs> We're right there. As long as I can get my trap up there. Nope. He almost saw it get me. My drowner is a little, my chain's just a little too short. I'm gonna have to lengthen my chains out the next time I've got them home. Plenty good. Drowner's right there. It's ready to go down. <laughs> All right. Caster mount sets in place. Beaver comes up here. They've. I could tell they've been going that way. You can see all the chewing. So I couldn't find a good place to pinch them down. I figured I'd just throw a caster mount right here. And I'm covered in cockaburs. Gotta love them. You get a, get a raccoon in that shit. It's not good. All right, stay tuned. Hopefully you guys are entertained. I'm rolling up onto one of my... Oh no. Well, I was gonna say I was rolling up onto one of the sets I usually have a lot of luck on. But I don't like what I see. He pulverized it. You know what I wanted. He pulverized it. I'll pull. I'll pull everything here. I'll let the muskets rebuild. And I'll leave them alone now. I didn't mean to screw up their hut like that. But they're really quick at rebuilding. Huh. That's crazy. I got a rat and a raccoon right next to each other. Yeah, 
I'm still pulling. I'm really lucky that he didn't take that stake and take my trap. Well, I'll get him taken care of and all. I'm gonna pull this one. The, the crazy thing is, is when this all freezes, the muskrats need to get somewhere where they can make bank dance because the coyotes will come through here and dig all these these huts up. What are you doing? Why'd you get in this trap? You're surrounded by water. All right, stay tuned. Sucks, caught the coon in here. Cause this was my best set. Cause I know what the, the, musk, the muskrats are swimming from hut to hut. And then I could see that they're traveling over there to those, cat, those cattails. So they probably got bank dens over there. And this was just kind of like a stop in between. Prime location. I can look forward to having one here every, every day since I've set the swamp. Sometimes doubles. But I gotta pull it now. I had this piece of wood here, made a perfect shelter for the muskrats to feel comfortable. It was just the ideal place. I guess that steak was in there pretty good. Didn't have much of a catch on him, but I guess he made him in a little hole and didn't fight too much. Couple more sets, and I get to go home and get warm. Keep that where I can see it. I want to reset it tomorrow. I got some spots and I want to put it. All right, guys, had a double there. That's the double I wanted. Roll off through here. Next year, I think I'm gonna have a flat bottom boat with a trolling motor. That sounds awesome. Just cruise through. Well, it all depends. It could be all back to normal where there's nowhere to walk anymore. It's all dried up usually. So this might be the last year to get to do this. So I wanted to take advantage of it. Memories out here. I'll always remember banging through all these damn sticks. <laughs> Where do I go through that? Just plow through. Man. Just plow through the shit. All right. Few traps left. See you in a bit. Alright. We ended up with four coon and eight muskrats today. No beaver today. Now I gotta pack everything out of here. There's a lot of stuff you guys don't see. I take all my traps, all my stuff if I gotta pack it back and forth. Come back and get the canoe. Because the canoe is super heavy and a pain in the ass to drag, so I tried dragging it a few nights with everything in it and I gave up real quick. So stay tuned. This video, there'll be more videos. Tomorrow's gonna suck though. 80% chance of rain. It's gonna be a miserable day, but I'll try to make a video. Thanks for watching. Cruising out of here.